How you doing? This is Carlos from NVS Audio. Today we're doing our review of the Pioneer AVIC 140BH and a 2005 Mazda 6. In this video, we're going to show you the double din kit that we got for the Mazda 6. We normally fabricate these in house, but the customer wanted to retain the hazard button and the three heater and AC control buttons that go directly under the screen. The only way to do that is using a kit from Cork Sport Performance. They build, uh, they supply a lot of the Mazda kits, and it's a Cantex kit. It comes from Japan that allows you to install the double din into the American Mazda 6. This is a 2005 Mazda 6. We originally did a single din metro kit. The opening is much smaller and it retains the factory buttons and the factory plugs. This kit is kind of expensive. It's $500 just for the kit. Comes out of Japan. You can order from Cork Sports. But it looks pretty good. Only thing I would do differently is modify it to get the radio fit flush without these side pieces and then send them to the body shop to get it custom painted. But it still is a pretty pretty good look, pretty good finish. But uh, now we're talking about the 140. The Pioneer 140 is the 2012 head units, the upgrade to last year's AVIC 130. Uh, this year they've added support for Android via Bluetooth. Much of the union's functions remain the same. Navigation. It's got the 3D mapping. It's got your basic audio sources. It also has built-in HD radio. I'm going to go ahead and pair my iPhone 4S so you can see the functions of the Bluetooth. You can control, you can stream Pandora, you can stream iPod Music directly from the phone, and what's nice about it, you can skip tracks right from the phone or the touchscreen, and it'll still display the name of the song and album. Just give it a second to pair up. Bluetooth settings, registration, register from mobile phone. Please follow instructions on your mobile phone. There it is on the phone. I don't know if you can see that. Pioneer Navi. Pairing code zero 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 zero. That was wrong. Let's try. Huh, it says right there the pairing code is one 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 one. Okay. One 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 one. Pair. There it is, registration successful. Gonna hit OK. Gonna hit the home button. AV sources. I'm gonna go down to Bluetooth audio. There's my phone listed at the bottom. Let's get some music queued up here. And now we're gonna skip to the next track right from the touchscreen, even though we're streaming via Bluetooth. Or we can skip right from the phone. Works both ways. I'm gonna switch over to the Pandora app. It's gone. There we go. Now we've tested it both from Android and iPhone. It works exactly the same on both. The advantages of having the iPhone 
is using the 51V cable. You can plug it directly into your iPhone. It's going to charge it and it's going to allow you to do video from your phone onto the head unit. A feature that they do not support for Android. The only Pioneer unit that supports audio and video from the Android is the App Radio 2. We'll have a little more on that on later and you can check our blog. I did a blog about this on blogger.com slash NVS audio or you can just go to nvsaudio.com and click on the link from our website. Okay, now that we're using the iPod cable, we also did the steering wheel controls on this Mazda so they do work. So now that we're using the actual cable, you see the Pandora with the artwork and the thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't like this song, so I'm going to give it a thumbs down. You can switch into regular iPod mode. There's the iPod. It's updating the VR of the library. Now, one of the more exciting features is that you're able to use app mode on this head unit which will let you do Netflix, Vivo. I'm going to show you the Vivo app today. I wish Vivo allowed you to, as Pandora does, pay a yearly subscription fee to not get commercials, but they don't yet. There's an app button right here. So when you want to enable video, just click that, and there it is. Now we're going to switch over to Netflix, show you how the Netflix works. Remember, you must have the 51V cable and an iPhone 4 or 4S and the unit either has to be the emergency brake on which we have in this vehicle currently to allow you to watch the video in park there's a few overrides to get around this you just have to find them on the internet I'm going to click resume watching press play on the phone And there's the movie playing, Netflix. From the phone, directly to the Pioneer AVIC 140 touchscreen. Any more questions? You can shoot us an email, info at nvsaudio.com. Or you can check out our website, www.nvsaudio.com. We'll have a couple more reviews of the new 2012 Pioneer head units following this one. Thank you and have a nice day.